everyone, Libby here. Hope the lighting's okay. I don't know what it's quite doing today. Uh, it's overcast outside, but it's a bit glary still, so hopefully it's alright. Uh, just speak to the hairdressers. So the hair's looking decent for a change. So it's that time again. My little bag of empties and bin items is full so it's time to share with you again so this video is going to be products I've used up and products I'm throwing in the bin because I don't like them or they're expired things like that okay I'll start with things for my face I have two of these a little uh, Natio day cream with SPF 15 one's empty one's actually full but I find the consistency is a bit funny so I'm not convinced that this is still okay I've had them for a while it might still be fine, but it's only a little one, and I have a big um, tin anyway. So my last holiday, I just um, put some into a different container because I wasn't real sure the, the consistency seems to be off. So I think we'll just um, say that they've um, been used up. <laughs> also used up yet another. I think I must go through these about every three months, which is usually, I think, when I film these videos. Uh, so I used up another of the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. This, if you you all know by now, I'm sure is my favourite of the rose hip oils, and I always just look for it on sale. You can save usually about thirty percent. I finished off this um, Paula's Choice uh, cleanser. I'd gotten that in one of the uh, the monthly kits that I was getting. It was okay. It's a normal to dry skin, which I don't. I think I'm, old, I'm pretty much a normal skin at the moment. Maybe slightly oily, but more normal. But I've used that the whole lot. It was okay, but I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase it. But it was decent. Um, I also used up another sample that I got. Oh gosh, I think it looks like the um, brand has been rubbed off. I can't read the brand. Jeez, uh, Ocean. Ocean. Ocean something I think. <laughs> little eye cream. It was quite alright um, but I'm not going to repurchase it. I'm using the Dr. Lewin's eye creams now but um, yeah it was okay. Good little um, tube. I do like the tube. That's one thing I do like. I like our little tube but the one I've got now is like a pot. Anyway, kind of everything got a couple of the facial cleansing wipes so I finished off this one from Kirkland I bought a whole big box from Costco before I discovered that Priceline were now selling the whatnot facial wipes so I'm trying to get the girls to use them up but I also used up one as well and I think when I've used up my whatnot wipes I'm just going to go on and use up the rest of these and then I can buy more whatnot wipes but I want to buy some whatnot wipes and support the brand being available locally so because it was very hard for me to track them down before so but these are quite decent i just prefer the whatnot wipes they're a nicer wipe plus they're organic and got more natural ingredients in it than what these do but these were cruelty free which is obviously the first thing i did check so that's my number one thing is the cruelty free so yep yeah, if you've got a looking for something probably a bit more affordable than the whatnot wipes and you're not so right natural products they're a good option they are a good wipe i also finished off these ones from pacifica they were very nice as well. I got these from iHerb. So these are the coconut water cleansing wipes. And I probably just would have repurchased those if I hadn't found the Kirkland ones. And now I've gone to the Whatnot ones. So very decent. Yep, not that. Um, so I used them all up. So if I used them up, can't be too wrong. Finished off a packet of these Swispers, what do we call them? Makeup pads. There you go, makeup pads. So yeah, these are sort of preferred ones. For a while I could buy organic ones, but I have not seen organic cotton ones in a long time. I'd prefer to get them because um, the cotton industry, if you can buy organic, is um, much better for the environment. Okay, moving on. got a Rexona deodorant. I used up one of these Davro anti-dandruff shampoos, which I use for my psoriasis. Um, I've almost finished off the conditioner as well. So... Uh, if you've seen this before, you would have seen these regularly. I have two brands. I'll buy either brand, but this is probably better value for money because it's a big tube. And I actually just actually tip on mine into a dispenser that I have in my shower. So that's um yeah, so I'm just finishing off the um the conditioner. So I'll probably I'll just chuck that in the bin. I'll say I'll include it in this one because it'll be used up probably in the next week or so. So these are really good. They have a whole range of different shampoos. 
they aren't cheap but um, they are really nice shampoo and certainly even this anti-dandruff shampoo has kept my psoriasis under control if I use it every other day which means I haven't had to go to really medicated shampoos which I think is much better so yeah it's good um, and again no animal testing and vegan free so vegan free <laughs> no animal testing and vegan friendly so yeah good product um, if you're looking for a nice quality shampoo I buy them from like the hair shops. <laughs> Is it hair attack? I don't know. Hair. I'm not sure what they're called, but there's a few around and a lot of them sell those. Uh, the only makeup thing I happen to have is the Anatio, uh, what do we call this? Natio Invisible Blend Foundation. This has been my go to foundation in the medium coverage. Colour is Light Honey. Really like this foundation. It's just light, just gives a little bit of coverage, which is really. All I need, I'm, I'm quite lucky like that. Athena uses the same foundation with the full coverage. I keep rebuying them. So, yeah, really, really highly recommend if you're looking for a really good, reasonable um, priced um, foundation. And again, they come on sale every couple of months or whatever. So keep a watch out for sales or a promotion. Nature are really good about having gift with purchases. So you can usually pick up something with your product. So... I tend to, if they've got a thing, I'll just buy one of these or um, there's a few Nature products that I just, I just rebuy. So I'll just buy one and sort of keep it aside for when I need it. But yeah, love the foundation and the powder is really good too. Two, I don't know how two, but two of these <laughs> nail polish removers. These are my sort of go-to, again, repeat purchases. Um, do a decent job. Australian cruelty free. Uh, I did also go through a box of these Crabtree and Evelyn makeup removal makeup nail polish remover wipes, and these were really really good. I have no idea price wise how they go, um, but one little sheet did do all the nails, do all my nails. I took them off nicely, and there must be like an oil in them because my cuticles would feel nice, and I can't identify an oil from the contents, but uh, it wasn't drying at all. So these were really nice, and I, if money was no object, I probably would just use these all the time. Um, I'll have to have a look, or look for a, when they're on sale or something, and pick up some more. There's a little box of ten, but ideal for travel, and that's what I took away on both holidays over the Christmas break. I would just throw a couple of these in, so you don't have to wait leakage or anything like that. So yeah, a great product. If you're travelling, try and pick up some of these because yeah, just really handy, and you don't have to take cotton pads and makeup room. Uh, a nail polish remover, so much easier. <laughs> I got this foot cream, uh, Kiss My Face one that I bought on iHerb. I think this might be the second one of these. Uh, really pretty decent foot cream. I'm currently using the Crabtree and Evelyn one, but I think these are really probably good value for money. Body washes, we have uh, Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom. Very nice. I wonder if I can get any smell out of here. Oh yes, it takes me back. Yep. So the Bath and Body Works ones are all really nice. I definitely prefer these stand-up ones for me with sort of sore hands. They are quite a bit easier to work. Unlike this one, love the product but not the packaging. So this is the Crabtree and Evelyn Pomegranate Body Wash or Bath and Shower Gel. Mm, second favourite after the orange Tarico one. Yeah, so finished off that. And while we're here to match, I finished off the body lotion. Love pumps for body lotions. Again, nice and easy to use. I don't know why they don't put a pump on here. That would just be easier for me. <laughs> so, but yeah, I will probably repurchase both of these at some stage when I've used up other stuff. Definitely don't need to purchase any body wash for a very, very long time after one of my recent hauls from um, Crabtree and Evelyn. So I've got a couple of moisturisers. So this one is a Sanctuary one from Covent Garden, the body butter. Really nice. Smells good. Uh, I probably won't repurchase just because I prefer the Crabtree and Evelyn ones. But if it was in a pack or anything like that, I'd be happy to have it and to use it up. Speaking of Crabtree and Evelyn, this was the Pear and Mongol Mongolia. This was the Pear and Magnolia body, what do they call these? These are body butters, aren't they? Very nice. Uh, definitely, these are the best ones in the tub. They're more creamy than, but that is more creamy than that one. So that is a body lotion, and these are a body, I think they call them a body souffle. 
just that much richer so I definitely prefer this one this is a plastic one the one I'm using at the moment I think it's a Caribbean one wild Caribbean or something like that it's actually a glass jar which is odd hey, I've got quite a few hand creams to share with you so <laughs> um, so my very favorite Crabtree and Evelyn no surprise Rocco and orange absolutely love this I think I'll have another one I've got another one on the go already <sighs> if you like orange stuff like I love orange chocolate and orange scents and you haven't ever got um, been to Crabtree and Evelyn go and go and smell this one is my absolute favorite of all of them <laughs> so yeah <laughs> body wash hand cream um, body they have body lotion I think they have in that range oh so good and sometimes coming up to Mother's Day even though I have like a little pack of three in the trial you could try so yeah I highly encourage highly recommend that one so I also have a like a medium size they have so many different sizes of hand cream this is like their medium in the pomegranate so these hand therapy creams are just so good really good they're, they're quite light so they don't um they don't they're not heavy in your hands and they dry really quickly so I'll just show you another three little ones so these are their small size so we've got pear and pink magnolia snow blossom and spiced vanilla I think the snow blossom was these were in their special Christmas set not last Christmas or Christmas before so I probably can't get them anymore I have got lots and lots of these <laughs> so I kind of amassed a whole lot on sale or freebies and stuff so I've got Lots to go through, but that was three. I finished off this last, well, since the last time I filmed one of these. Finished off a little um, pocket back antibacterial from Bath and Body Works. This was such a good smell. I don't know if they still, for those of you in America, Tuscan Vineyard. No idea if they still make this one. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> but I mean, they're all pretty nice, really. Finished off two drip dry nail stuff. One's flash dry from Orly and the drip dry from OP. I think it's a little, like obviously it's a little tiny one. And I think it's a normal size OP1. I've already bought that because it seems to be a pretty good product. And I also finished off, I'll just share, it come with a sample. This is, in, what's the brand? Sassy and Savvy, yep. Floral spray, this little spray, um, scented spray. I tend to like put this over our, well, it was a little put off. Um, sometimes when I've made the bed, I'll just do a little, little spray over our pillows just to sort of freshen things up. I've got another different one I'm using at the moment. They're just a room. Are they a room? Oh no, this one's actually a, oh yeah, face, a body or linen or in a room. So, but I tend to use them on our bed just to freshen it up a little bit each day. Uh, I think I've got a lavender one up there at the minute that I'm using. A couple of candles. So this was the Party Light Strawberry Rhubarb. Probably one of my absolute favourite. Mm, I can still smell there. Probably one of my favourite party light scents. As you can see, the party light ones burn really down very low. Um, sometimes even all you're left with is the little uh, wick thing. So that's one of the little jars that they have. Great, again, you can reuse the jars. They're not oh, no one as big as they're probably between the two sizes of Bath and Body Works, but I just prefer the quality of candle from Party Light. And I also finished off this Circa Home. Holiday Bliss. Oh boy, I wish I'd known how much I liked this and I would have bought another one because I finished it all off and so I don't sell it anymore. And look at the beautiful jar though. It's obviously wintry, Christmassy, Christmas you know, sort of trees with little Christmas baubles on it. But um, I'm using that to store pens in at the moment because it's just beautiful. Um, now that was elderflower and sandalwood. Oh, I wish I had bought some more. I actually bought one for my beautician. And she called it how nice it was that I bought one for myself too, and it was so good. I'm hoping maybe the same scent will be back again next year, and I'll probably buy a few because I really did like that. <laughs> I'm not pretty usually pretty loyal to um, Party Light or sometimes Bath and Body Works, so for me to branch out and really highly like another candle, yeah. So Circa Home, they're an Australian company, buy them at David Jones. So again, a really lovely gift because that jar is just how beautiful is that jar? Gorgeous. Okay, so that's it for my empties, and I've got a few things going in the bin. I will show you. So this is from Lush. It's the Mint Julep Lip Scrub. Like it. I just never get through it. So, look, hardly really touch the surface. Uh, I don't think I'll rebuy it. I love them, and I'll buy one every so often, but I just don't get through the product. So, I mean, this expired. It was used by 
you're ready. April 2014. <laughs> so, well past its use by date. I have this. Well, I threw this out because it's a L'Occitane product and I hadn't used it. This is just a cooling hand cream gel. Those of you new to my channel, I don't buy L'Occitane because last I heard, I guess I should check up, but I've been disillusioned with the company anyway because I started selling in China, which meant the products could then be tested on animals. So I don't buy L'Occitane anymore. That's when I moved across to Crabtree and Evelyn. So I've got this Renew Virgin Coconut Body Oil. And we bought this in Fiji probably about three years ago. And on our last trip to Fiji, I bought another one, not realizing I already had one or forgetting. Then I found this one. But the other one is like today is liquid because it's warm. This is kind of still solid, which kind of tells me the product perhaps has gone off. I don't know whether it doesn't have a date on it, but it doesn't look anything like the other one. So I'm putting this one in the bin because I assume it's gone bad. Okay, also putting this Burt's Bee lemon butter cuticle cream in because i have another new product i think this is all dried out anyway even if i want to use it i couldn't use it it's all dry nail polishes i had a quick look and i found a few that were um unrepairable so this Ulta 3 one in brandy wine and the bin you go and this one i was a bit sad for this is susie says feng shui one of the opie ones it's just really Luggy and couldn't be shaken up. This one I really sad because actually it was a very favourite one. I just don't know they sell it anymore. It was a grape set match. It actually came in a set of two. I can remember that. And actually it's one of my favourite colours, but yeah, can't shake that up. <laughs> so they all have to go. Uh, this is a Physician's Formula eyeliner. This I just find is really, really drying. It's um too dry and compared to my other eyeliners so I'm not really using it I find it so I'm gonna throw it out probably have to find the other two they're probably exactly the same lastly a toothbrush of all things I don't even know I think it was in a set perhaps Kevin bought it because I don't know where it came from but I took it on holidays and it was so so soft that I used it but honestly I didn't feel like it was brushing my teeth at all so there's no point keeping it I throw it in the bin and I actually found a spare one of the one I prefer but I think Kevin just bought a packet like of I don't know. I don't know why we've gone so soft. Anyway, it was useless. So that is it for this episode. <laughs> I have no idea what number of empties videos I'm up to. But yeah, this is it for empties for February 2015. And I'll be back in another two or three months with some more. Again, if you've got any questions about any products that I've shown you or you want to know where you can find them, ask me and I will let you know. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.